Hey everybody, I'm Mark Edward Lewis with Cinema Sound, and today we're going to be looking at another one of the most important plugins you can use in post production from within Adobe Audition, the single band compressor. Let's roll. We're here in Adobe Audition, and if you've never used Adobe Audition, I invite you to come see us at cinemasound.com and stream our Adobe Audition 1, 2, 3 product that'll take you from I've never used Adobe Audition before to feeling very comfortable and creating great results for you in your production. So here in the timeline, we have, uh, what do we got here? We got a gunshot, very loud, and then some dialogue. Did you come to check my vitals? Yes. How's my pulse? Obviously, it's from set, very noisy. You hear the sounds of fans worrying. This is from the short film Outpost. So we, uh, like on any nonlinear editor, you can instantiate plugins on clips by selecting whatever clip you'd like, going to effects and pulling them down here, or by going to the effects rack and clicking on clip effects and doing the same thing, able to have up to 16 plugins on a clip. But we want actually to apply this to the entire track. So we'll go to track effects, which is separate here, and then instantiate amplitude and compression, single band, compressor and it's a pretty simple probably one of the simplest interfaces of any compressor in any digital audio workstation but it's very powerful now what does a compressor do a compressor allows you to set a threshold that once audio and sound crosses it and gets louder the compressor automatically brings the sound down and the higher the ratio the more it brings it down until the point where you can get a ratio that's so high it basically becomes what we call a limiter and we have another video on that here in the channel so let's take a look at these controls pretty simple stuff here's where you set that threshold Let me zoom in here so you can see and then the ratio here is a fraction really and and, and that fraction means if you've got a ratio that's two to one that means that for every, dec every decibel that the sound goes over the threshold, it's halved. Three to one means it's thirded, four to one means it's quarter, ten to one means it's tenth, and so on. Attack is how many milliseconds before the compressor starts working once the sound crosses that threshold. Release is how many milliseconds before the, thre the compressor releases the sound once it goes back under the threshold. And then here's the output gain that you can boost or cut because we're, as a compressor, generally bringing volume down so we'll need to kind of compensate for that and then down here you have the on off switch so let's see what happens here with this loud gunshot we're going to bring this threshold down to maybe minus 20 we're going to make a very strong ratio at about five to one a very short attack and a very short release at about 30 milliseconds now obviously that just kind of makes it quieter so we'll bring up the output gain even more and this is without it notice that it sort of extends that length of that decay which is pretty cool and without and that's because the attacks that strong transient of the compressor is actually being cut off given a haircut and then that allows the decay to come out fully but what happens if we make this attack about 40 milliseconds what happens then and I'll turn it on. Notice how punchy it gets. We still have that long duration from the, uh, from the release. But now it's really pow, punchy. What happens if we make it even longer? What's happening is the slower attack is allowing the transient to come through and not be compressed. And then the rest of it being compressed and extended. And with it off, here's with it off. That's a pretty dramatic difference. And when we apply this, now, actually, let me just show you. Uh, I'll turn this way down. We'll turn this up a bit. That's a really draconian setting. It's just like a whip almost. Let's apply this now, the single band compressor, to the dialogue. And what we have here is a very loud line and two softer lines. Once again, with it off. Did you come to check my vitals? Yes. How's my pulse? I mean, it's almost getting lost in the noise floor. And you could use a fader to fix that, but what we want to do is do it automatically if we can. So with this, what we want to do is to be able to kind of bring down the loud parts and leave the softer parts unaffected. Let's see if we can do that. We're going to bring the threshold way down here, maybe about 25. Let's see where his vocals are. Did you come to check my vitals? Yeah, he's peaking way up here at plus nine. And she... 
Yes. Is way down here, you know, somewhere minus 15. So we're going to bring this way down. We're going to do a four, maybe a three to five to one ratio, which is pretty strong. A pretty fast attack at about 20 milliseconds. And the release will do at 75. Let's see how this sounds once we turn that on. Did you come to check my vitals? Yes. And then let's bring the whole thing up a little bit. Did you come to check my vitals? Yes. How's my pulse? It's a lot better, a lot better balance. Here's where it was. Did you come to check my vitals? Yes. So we might even be able to bring it down even further and almost a zero attack. Let's make it about five milliseconds and a 45 millisecond release. Really, really, really fast. Did you come to check my vitals? Yes. How's my pulse? Now they're really pretty well balanced, but you're noticing something right away, and that is that the noise floor is also coming up with it, which is a drag. And one of the reasons why when we do denoising, we want to do more than we think, because this kind of compression and even moving a fader up and down is always going to bring up the noise floor in a mix. So this is the single band compressor, very simple, but very powerful uh, plugin and one of the most basic and fundamental plugins we use in post-production. Hopefully this has been valuable to you, and if it has, or if any of the other hundreds of videos we have here on Cinema Sound have, please subscribe to our channel and come visit us at cinemasound.com, where hopefully we've got one of our hundreds and hundreds of blog posts there can get you that Hollywood-level production value that you've been looking for in your own productions. Until then, we'll see you in post. Even if you're